Now that we have explored the various types of piping fittings valves, let's take a deeper look at control loops and at shutdown system, which are considered the brain of the plant. The control system measures and controls plant performance, and the shutdown system protects them from any upset conditions that may cause safety issues. By having a well-designed control system and shutdown system in place, we can ensure that the plant runs optimally and efficiently while ensuring the safety of assets and personnel. The anatomy of a control loop or a shutdown function consists of three main components. The first component is the instrument, which is the device that takes the reading from the plant. The second is the processing system, which can be the control system or the shutdown system that takes the reading from the instrument through an input signal, and based on the signal, it gives output signal. The third is final control or shutdown element. This can be a control valve, a shutdown valve, or a motor. Based on output signal sent from the system, the final control element takes the necessary action to adjust process parameter. So the valve may open or close based on the signal that it receives. In the following videos, we shall discuss each of these components in more detail. Here. I would like first to show how the identification of these components is shown in PNID. We can see in any instrument, controller, or final element that their abbreviation contains two main things. The first is the parameter it is serving, and the second is its function. So, for example, we want to represent a temperature-related device. Here, the parameter shall be the temperature. So, in this case, first letter shall be T. If this is pressure, then it shall be P. If this is a pressure difference, it would be DP, and sometimes it's called PD, depending on the legend the designer is following. For a level, it shall be L, flow, it shall be F, and so on. If this is a temperature gauge that measures the temperature locally, then the second letter shall be G. So here, the instrument abbreviation shall be TG. If this is a transmitter sending a signal to a control or a shutdown system, then we are talking about a temperature transmitter. So the abbreviation shall be TT. If there is a reading for this transmitter in the DCS, then this is a temperature indicator. We shall use the letter I for the indicator in this case. So it shall be TI. For a temperature controller, it shall be TC. For a temperature control valve, it shall be TCV or TV. For flow, it shall be FE for flow element or FT for flow transmitter. So these shall be FI, FC, FCV, FV, etc. So this shall be how an instrument symbology works in a PNID. We shall see lots of examples afterwards when examining different types. So stay tuned.